This is PubMed. It's a vast database that contains a wealth of information for anyone working in the health science industry. Not only that, but it's easy to use. Let me show you. I'm going to do a search for people having heart attacks in middle age. You'll see here I get a variety of responses, many of which are very relevant. I can go ahead and click on any one of these to find more information. If I click on the title, it will generally give me an abstract, title, year of publication, and the journal it was published in. You'll notice the full text is not readily available. If I want the full text, I have to look over here on the right and look for the Find It button. If I click that, I will be taken to a page which will show me how to connect to the article. I just click Full Text Online, and I have my full text. PubMed, while a great database, does have some issues that need to be addressed. The other thing that makes PubMed a challenge is the wording that's used in the searches. When we're doing a search, we're using common everyday words that we use, like heart attacks. Whereas most of the researchers, since this is a research database, will be using words like myocardial infarction. So you might be thinking, how do I find the words that the researchers are using? That's where MESH comes into the picture. MESH stands for Medical Subject Headings. There's an entire database dedicated to finding the right word. So if I click on that, I'll be searching MESH. Once I'm searching MESH, I'm not searching for articles, I'm searching for words. Let's do an example. Let's try a heart attack. That tells me that myocardial infarction is the actual word to use. What I can do then is click Add to Search Builder. This will add it to this box over here, which will help me build my search, which I can then plug into PubMed. Now let's look for Middle Age. And you'll see that is a subject heading as well. I'll click Add to Search Builder, and I will search PubMed. The results on this list are going to be better for several reasons. One, we're now using the words that the researchers are using, which should give us more relevant results. Additionally, when we're doing a search using regular keywords, we're searching for matches to those words within this summary page. The more matches, and if those words appear in the title, the higher the article comes up on the results list. This may not always be the best way to find articles. If I do a mesh search, I can be assured that this article is on the topics that I search for. As an example, if I do a regular keyword search, it's just going to look for these words on this page. Even if this text says, this study is not about myocardial infarctions and the middle-aged, it is about myocardial infarctions and adolescence. This will still appear because it matches words for words. When dealing with medical subject headings, a librarian or a researcher has gone through and determined that this article is definitely about the subjects that we listed. So this is going to be a much more spot-on article. So that's Mesh and how it works. Once again, from the home screen, it's going to be over here on the right. Click Mesh. Enter your search terms here. Remember, these are the words you're looking for. Let's try fitness, for example. In this results page, you'll see that we have several different things that we can click on. I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and then select Add to Search Builder. Now, if I want to try looking for physical fitness in kids, I might try kids. And this tells me right away there's no mesh items found. So that's not a good term to use. Let's try children. Turns out they want me to use the term child, not children. So I'll click this, add that to my search builder, and then search PubMed. So that's a brief introduction to mesh and how to use it to search for the right words to use in PubMed. Happy searching!